I'm a mother of four children and one of them is no longer mortal. He's not with us anymore in mortality. He's with us, but in another way. Um, perfectly healthy star athlete child who was in a water accident at the age of 18, the first week that he was at university. And um, our Parker, that's his name, dove into this canal twice to save the life of a fellow, fellow classmate who was drowning. And that other student survived, but um, I got the phone call to drive five hours in the night and find my son in a deep coma. Um, and uh, he never came out of that coma. We were there in the ICU when it was clear that my beautiful child no longer was alive. He was brain dead. In that moment, I felt myself die in many ways. And at the same moment, I felt myself being reborn. I felt like a bomb had gone off in my body, in our lives. I did not know, even though I'm a woman of faith, I did not know how we were gonna make it. I, I didn't know how I was going to keep living without my son in this world. And I had never doubted that life is eternal. I didn't doubt that the Savior loves me and loves my child, but I doubted my ability to go on in such a broken state. Our family experienced how we were reconstituted, how we were put back together again. It was through the power of the atonement, which I thought was for sin and for someone else's death, someone else will be resurrected. But a wise pastor once wrote, resurrection is for those on both sides of the tomb. And I myself am living proof that you can feel dead and shattered and ripped apart. And the power of the atonement, the power of covenants can bring you back to life.